Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I have finally made a decision. It took a long time to come to this decision. I have been researching, and you know how it goes when you wanna start a life journey. First the thought starts in your head, and then you just come to a conclusion. And as you see by the look of my hair, I am done. I am done, I am fed up. I'm sitting here looking at my hair, and I'm like, you know what? I'm over, keep doing my hair, I'm tired of buying weave. I just finally came to this conclusion. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put in more weave later on, but as of right now, I'm ready to start this vlog journey and just do something different. My hair is thick as it is. It's very, very thick. I did the big chop three or four times in my life already, and now we keep coming back to the same point. We have a love-hate relationship. It's very thick. I have a feeling these locks are about to look right, but we're gonna get started. I wanna see how these micro locks are gonna look. I'm gonna do them myself. Join me along for the ride. This is the introduction to this next new journey in my life. Tell me, am I dreaming how to hear you looking so flat? I just got a meeting when I looked at you today. I got problems, baby, and I need you to save me. Yep. All right, so welcome back. Here's the supplies you're gonna need. Grab you some good old hair oil. I made this myself. Some duck bill clips to clip your hair back. Get you a nice old comb. A nice hair clip to pull that hair back. The tools I'm using for crocheting and to lock the hair. This is what it looks like. I'll put the link below. A nice old spray bottle to moisturize that hair. And some good old edge control. All right, let's get started. Hey. I twisted a little bit of my hair. I started some off of camera. I feel like I'm channeling my little, <laughs> my little inner child. But this is the part of method that I did. I just simply parted it into two parts. It looks pretty wild right now. And this is what I twisted, these rolls. I haven't started on this side yet. I'm shocked this even comes down like this being natural. I used to be in a relaxer group, but now I'm on the natural side. So I'm surprised all this is here. Okay, I want you to take a look. Let's see how this looks. Very simple, this is the braid method or pattern I chose to use. As you can see, this is how it looks. I don't want y'all to watch me do a lot of the twisting because that's pretty boring. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in and then I'll be back and then we'll twist on camera. So, so far you see, this is how far I got in the process. Like I said, the twisting part can be somewhat boring, 
So as I get closer to the top, then I will start showing you my twisting method. But right now I'm just showing you just the increments of me twisting the hair and going through it. Some parts I start off with braiding and then twisting like this. And then other parts I straight up just interlock it because it's thinner up front. You see the back is a little bit thicker than what it is in the front. So this part, I use my little handy dandy tool and that's why I sew tight to the scalp because I didn't lock this. But again, I will show you some more. So let me twist again. I'm getting excited y'all, this is fun. I didn't know all this was in there. So hey y'all, hey. It's been about a week and I finally finished my locks. Well, somewhat. I said I was gonna show y'all how I did the process. But either way, I want y'all to take a look. This is how they came out. This is the size I chose. I like messy hair, so it's not no perfect braid pattern. It's not a specific size. I have small, medium, and large. I'll let you look at it in close details. I still have like one or two to put in up here because I want to show you how I did this whole process of starting these locks off. But look at it. This is how they look. You can see the braid pattern. And then here's the back. Well, here's the side. And then here's the back. So, oh. <laughs> yes, we finally put these locks in. Okay, up here, I said I was gonna show you more details how I do these locks. It's gonna take me a hair clip, pin the rest of this back. How I start them out, I do a little braid with the three pieces. One, two, three. Do a braid. And then I take it and turn it into two pieces and do a twist. Take whatever size. Like that. And I'm just taking it going in and pulling it back out. It's almost like a crochet needle. There we go. And I just go around a few more times. You make sure you don't go in the same direction that you went the last time. So if I go in north, I'm gonna go in east and then go in south, go back up. And that bad boy is secure. It's in there, y'all. So I'm just gonna go in and touch up some of them on my perimeter just to make them a little bit tighter. And hopefully you continue to follow me on this lock journey once again. Put this right through. And we're just gonna loop it through. So any of them that's loose, I'm basically gonna go through with my little tool and just tighten them up.